And hey, welcome back to the show. Project Renewal is a New York City not-for-profit organization that is working to end the cycle of homelessness by empowering individuals as well as families in renewing their lives with health, homes, as well as jobs. Now, the Project Renewal scan van offers free mammograms and clinical breast exams to women who are age 40 and older. Sharing details now is the director at Project Renewal scan van, Angela Brunswick. And uh, Angela, good to have you. Thank you, good to be here. Um, the uh, Project Renewal Scan Van has been around since like 2007. Um, it is a big part of Project Renewal's mission in, in terms of um, serving women um, who are underserved, who are uninsured or underinsured. And uh, we provide free mammogram screening and clinical breast exams in addition to offering them uh, fit kits for um, colon cancer screening. Um, we not only provide the mammograms, but we also follow up with the patient after um, they, we get the results of their mammograms. They come um, onto the vans. We have a 40 foot uh, van that's split into three compartments. The first compartment the patient comes into and they're registered um, with our registrar, and then they go back into the second compartment, which is where the mammogram is actually done um, by the tech. And then there's a third compartment that they go into where they receive their clinical breast exam and they receive instructions on how to provide uh, breast exam, self breast exams at home. Once we get their results, we send them a letter uh, detailing their results. If we have women that have abnormal results, we provide patient navigation for them. And what we do is we have a nurse practitioner who will contact the patient with the results of their uh, report. Uh, they will speak to them about what the report says and um, what their next steps would be. She then forwards that information to our patient navigator who contacts the patient and actually walks the patient through uh, diagnostic um, appointments all the way through till the end of her diagnosis. Um, by providing these services, we're able to assist women in detecting an early detection of breast cancer. And I think, as you know, um, women of color, more so Black women, are diagnosed at a higher rate than um, non-women of color. Right. Um, and I think the reason is is because of the disparities, the health disparities in the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. uh, and we focus on communities that are underserved. Uh, we bring our services to those communities. We go to all of the boroughs and we provide services in Suffolk. Um, let, me jump, let, me, let, me, let me jump here and just ask a question because you, you, you talked about bringing services to people. And, and for our viewers, we do know that it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month and an opportunity to really highlight uh, what it is to, it, that breast cancer is and making people more aware. But let me ask you, as you're bringing these services to people, what is the receptivity like? Are people more prone to say, since you're bringing the van to me, I'll take advantage of the services in an area where sometimes people typically won't go and get an exam? Well, I mean, they're usually aware because we, we collaborate with co community-based organizations and churches and we do health fairs. So they're usually aware that we're coming. Um, when I work with the sponsors, I make them aware that the uh, women, the, the women should call us to make an appointment, especially during COVID because we don't want too many women on the van at the same time. And we don't want to overbook so that we can't see everyone. Um, but most of the time we have appointments, the appointments are there and, and the, the women show up for the most part. The no-show rate is very low. I think women are starting to feel a lot more comfortable coming out now. Um, I think they're more comfortable coming into the van environment as opposed to going into a hospital-based um, radiology center for their mammograms. And talk to me a little bit more about this whole thing about eligibility, because uh, in order to be eligible for this, what's the eligibility requirement for somebody who may say, I want to do this? Okay, they need to be um, the ages of 40 and over. Um, they can be uninsured or insured, um, it doesn't matter. If they're uninsured, we partner with the um, cancer screening programs in all of the boroughs. And once they're diagnosed, if they are diagnosed, we partner 
with the CSPs um, and they provide the case management piece and we provide the patient man, uh, navigation piece. And what they will do is ensure that um, if the patient is not insured and they they will get them qualified for um, Medicaid or whatever insurance they can get through them, or they will fund it themselves and get the woman through the process. And so as you're looking now and you're trying to spread the word about breast cancer awareness and having people take more advantage of the services that are actually available, we know that making it easier for somebody to have access is very important. Um, and the follow-up, uh, I want you to just share with uh, our viewers a little bit about the follow-up because as you said earlier, you know, once a person takes this test in the van, it's not over and done with, but you really have a way of being able to follow up with somebody. So for instance, for a person who may have results that aren't so favorable, um, how do you walk them and navigate them through the future stages of getting the necessary treatment? Um, as I said before, like the nurse practitioner will contact them and speak to them about their diagnosis. And then our patient navigator is really the key staff member that walks the staff, that walks the uh, patient through the process. She will call her um, after the nurse practitioner has explained uh, next steps and she will actually link them to a diagnostic facility, one of our partnering um, diagnostic facilities for them to get the follow-up care or treatment or diagnosis that they need. And then once that's done, um, well, actually they, they, they follow up throughout the process. So they may make the appointment for the woman and then later call back to make sure she attend, you know, that she made it to the appointment and if not, she'll contact the patient to see, you know, what's going on. Um, for those women who do file, uh, follow through with their diagnostic protocol, uh, we usually obtain the reports, the final reports, so that we have them for our records and so that we know that the follow-up is complete and the patient has been treated. Yeah. And would you share a little bit with our viewers about the importance of early detection? Because that's what you're after, really being able to get the awareness so that way people can get early detection. Early detection is key. Um, we recommend that women start getting their mammograms at the age of 40 and get them on an annual basis, particularly if you have a history of um, cancer in your family. And not only breast cancer, just cancer on either side, on the mom's side or dad's side, um, or different types of cancer. It's, it's safe to be proactive and get that mammogram starting at the age of 40. Um, uh, mammograms are self-referred. You don't have to have a primary care physician to come onto our van to get a mammogram. Um, some radiology places do um, expect that, but we don't. And the reporting is available for you if you need it. You'll receive a letter saying what your results are. Um, and if you want to follow up and get your report, you can call us and give us the consent and we will forward the report to your attention. All right. And so we gotta leave it there, but thank you so much for this very vital information. And hopefully uh, women will take advantage of this uh, service as it continues to uh, go across the city uh, to really help in the area of area de uh, of early detection as we are doing our part in spreading the word about Breast Cancer Awareness Month Angela, thank you so much for being with us. Can I just say one more thing? If anyone is interested in contacting us, either to sponsor an event or to, or to make an appointment, they can reach us at 646-415-7932. And we have an email that is scanvan at projectrenewal.org. That's right. And I was going to let our viewers know again, if you want more information, don't forget to go to projectrenewal.org. And also you can see them on social media at Project Renewal. We're going to take a quick break. We've got more show. Don't go anywhere. Angela, thanks for joining us. Hope we continue coming up right after this. Okay.